I think the idea of bringing art into this space or any space is a good idea. There should be more art everywhere. The way I define my artistic practice, you know, I would say my practice is a completely a practice of intuition from beginning to end. And what I do is uh, I paint large buildings and I make large installations out of trash. We're having a conversation here about nature. And so if you're having a conversation with nature now, at this time in the world, you're having a conversation with trash. I started when I was a child and I've been making things my entire life. Um, it's a journey. One piece leads to the next piece. So I've been on this journey for over 35 years. It actually started in my grandmother's kitchens. I didn't think of myself as an artist. And so you spend your entire life defining what that means. And I'm still redefining what it means to be an artist. The important thing is my grandmother's believed I was an artist, and so I believed I was an artist. And belief is more important than talent. If you have belief, you can develop talent. There's a lot of unknowns. I don't plan things. I, I, I build up layers. So whether I'm painting or I'm building something, I create it in layers. And I make that move. And then I look at it and I make another move. And I keep going until it feels complete. It's all a process of feeling and intuition. It's all this part of your body, completely. But as far as choosing the elements myself, it's like I'm not creating another person's vision. For me, it's important to choose what I'm doing, all of it, as much as I can. You know, it's my process. The process is not for sale. I'm working on a large piece. It's like an altar. It's like a shrine. It's, a, it's just something that holds space, that makes you feel special. But it's, its purpose is, is to inspire people and also play a, a piece that created prosperity. Or, all those ideas still exist. So that's what I was thinking when I was making the piece at certain times. So now the piece is going to be the back of the stage. All of that still exists. All that intention still exists. It can mean anything we want it to be. And so I like those ideas. Everybody creates their life. You create your own reality with your intentions. So everyone's doing it. You have to make it happen. You say, I want that. Decide. It's your choice. That's what intention is about. I'm from Los Angeles, California. I'm here at Papaya Playa Project, hopefully creating magic. That's what they brought me to do. That's my specialty. I'm going to try and do that. 